Now I'd like to ask you some questions about your life, Susan. You might find them very personal, but it's important that you answer me as honestly as possible. Fine. Let's get it over with then, shall we? I'd like to go home at last. Of course, I understand. So, Susan, let's see. Are you living alone at the moment? I rent a flat. It's quite lonely most of the time. I live on my own. It suits me just fine. I live with a friend. She must be worried and sick about me. Um, what? Uh, I live on my own. It suits me just fine. Yeah, I live on my own. It suits me just fine. I live on my own, and it suits me just fine. I don't need anyone. People mostly bore me. Sometimes they annoy me or upset me. I'm happy with how things are at the moment. I have my little bit of space, and it's my own. It's private. I'd like to keep it that way. What do you do for a living? And between jobs at the moment, I'm a waitress in a cafe. Shit, I don't know what the fuck she does. I don't even think she works. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna say between jobs at the moment. Um, between jobs at the moment. I'll find something soon. But it's been difficult. I didn't feel that great. I felt weak and powerless and tired most of the time. I felt really awfully tired. Typical depression symptoms. We can give you something for that. You'll feel stronger and motivated. I admire your faith in modern medication, Doctor. I hope you're right. Describe to me what your mornings look like. What is the first thing you do each day? I drink strong coffee and make, oh, and make and smoke on the balcony. I eat breakfast cereal usually. I have a cup of tea and read the paper. I lay in the bed awake. Can't bring myself to open my eyes. I go to the toilet. Doesn't everyone? I put the TV on so I can watch old TV shows. Um, I feel like as an old person like her, not to disrespect Miss Susan. But I'm just saying, like, she, she seems like the person to, to wake up and drink coffee and smoke. I drink strong coffee and smoke on the balcony. I know it's not a great start for the day, but it's one of my little pleasures in life that I find very hard to say no to. Would you say that you feel safer at home than outside? Um, I, yeah, I suppose. Not really. I don't feel that safe at all. Mm. Yeah, I suppose, but that's not really a, a great way to think. I... yeah, I, I suppose. It's not really about safety. I've just felt sad for a long time now. Really sad, you know? Somehow it brings me down even more when I go out and see all those happy, successful people. It makes me feel more like a failure if I don't see it. It doesn't hurt that much. What do you think is missing in your life? Or rather, what is one thing that you think would make your life better? Love. No. Let's see what she says. It would be nice to have more money, I guess. A good friend. Someone I can finally trust. I, I know it's silly. But I wish I was better looking. Something to fight for, you know? A reason to go on. Hmm. So these two here is what I struggle with um, in my life, actually. I think, I think everybody kind of struggles with finding a good friend. Not supposedly the trust part, but just having a good friend like you can just have around that likes your company and you like theirs. And then... Of course, everybody wants to look better. Um, and of course, everybody wants more money. Like, everybody thinks that's going to make them happier. It might, but... I don't know. Hmm. I'm going to say this one, though. I, I know it's silly, but I wish I was better looking. 
But you are a beautiful woman, Susan. Please don't. I have a mirror. <laughs> have you ever attended group therapy for depression or some other form of counseling? Yes, it doesn't help much. As you can see, no, not sure that's a good idea. No, I'm not sure it's a good idea. Especially the group therapy thing. I'd hate it. You should at least give it a go first, and then decide. If you don't like it, we can think of something else, yeah? If you insist. But I doubt it'll help. Do you have problems sleeping? Every night. Rarely I sleep. Rarely I sleep well most nights. I would think she has trouble sleeping. Every night. I take pills for that. There aren't any left now, though. In the light of recent events, I think you should stay off those pills for a while. I suggest you drink some hot milk before bed instead. Would you describe for me how you feel at the moment? I feel fine. I definitely feel better than before the accident. I feel like the whole world is against me. Definitely better than before the accident. Definitely better than before the accident. Good. Hopefully you can now move on from here. With a bit of luck you will enjoy life again. Suicide attempts often have that effect on people. Same as near-death experience. It makes you realize that you're not ready to die yet. Do you find it hard to concentrate? Mm. No, not really. No, not really. Do you drink alcohol, Susan? Only sometimes. Only sometimes. I'd suggest you don't consume any alcohol at all for a while. Does that sound like something you can do? Yeah, sure. I'm not a big drinker anyway. Sometimes when life gets too much and people feel sad or upset, they think about suicide. Do you often think about suicide? No. No, of course not. I don't know what's got into me or I don't know what got into me while well, I used to think about it sometimes I yes I think about it often well I used to think about it sometimes well I used to think about it sometimes yes, think about it don't you do think it. about it when you're really down Susan I'm a psychiatrist my job is to talk people out of it would you ask a fireman if he ever thinks about setting fire to his house? I suppose not. But I'm sure lots of people have times when they do think about it. I couldn't say, Susan. The statistics show that men are three times more likely than women to commit suicide. That puts you in the minority. But of course, that's missing the point. Suicide is never the solution. There's always a way of solving whatever problem you might have. I realize that now. Please, in your own words, try to explain to me why did you really try to take your own life, Susan? It was just an impulse. I'm ashamed of it now. Nothing was making me happy anymore. I wanted to show everyone how hurt I was deep inside. Nothing was making me happy anymore. Nothing was making me happy anymore. There wasn't a single thing that would bring a smile to my face. I kept thinking, won't it be better if I just disappear? I tried. I really tried to find something. Took a long bath. Picked up a book. Watched some television. But I just couldn't get into anything. All those things seemed like worthless distractions. And I myself felt obsolete needless. It just would get worse and worse. By the afternoon, I realized I cried for the past three hours. I... I didn't even know I'd been crying until I went to the bathroom and saw my face in the mirror. 
I looked like a ghost. I looked like I was dead already, you know? And then I saw the sleeping pills. I thought, why not? And I did it. Do you feel as if you're a burden? Or that life isn't worth living? Sometimes, when I feel really low. Sometimes, when I feel really low, I just... I used to think everyone would be happier without me. But I guess people don't really care. Besides, I live alone. Who could I be a burden to? What makes you feel better? My cat's work used to make me happy. Antidepressants really did it for me. A long bath. Music. I play the piano when I'm feeling down. I'm gonna say my cats. So my cats? Cat I always lady. put out a bowl of food for the stray cats. They're ever so grateful. I like their company. What makes you feel worse? People, they let me down too many times. They hate it when it rains all the time. Noise too much really makes me upset. Mm, loneliness, I wish I had someone to talk to sometimes. It's hard to say. It could be anything. Yeah, I'm gonna say the last one. It's hard to say. It could be anything. Sometimes it could be just little things. The way my hair looks, shoes I can't find, when I run out of milk. I get angry with myself for being clumsy, for not being able to cheer up and just get on with things, like everyone else. Have you imagined your funeral and how people will react to your death? Oh, I never really thought about that. Probably nobody would come anyway. I imagined it often. I hoped people would feel guilty. Second one sounds like Susan. Probably nobody would come anyway. Can you imagine it? Now that's a sad picture. Loved by no one. Missed only by some cats. No tears shed for me. No flowers on my grave. But that's okay. I never liked flowers. I wouldn't miss that. Finally, I'd like you to tell me about Eric. Eric? Yes, your husband. Cheers. I believe this might be important. What can you tell me about your relationship? What had happened between you two? I don't really want to talk about this. This has nothing to do with him. Can I go home now, please? There's nothing to talk about. It's getting late. Can we talk about it some other time? Wow. So she's really trying to avoid this. So she had a husband, huh? Obviously, it was pretty bad. Um. Yeah, I really don't want to talk about this. I. I don't really want to talk about this. Hmm. Fine. I suppose you've opened enough for one day. Okay, one more question. This is just a formality, but I have to ask, are you going to do it again? That's a hard one. I don't know. But hey, I've got it! The answer is no, I'm not. Thank you very much. <laughs> Excellent. We're nearly done here. There's just one more thing I must clear with you. What exactly happened last night? Well, after I'd met you outside the ward yesterday, I went back to my room and fell asleep. I slept really well, considering what happened earlier. But then someone woke me up. It was the same nurse who was so friendly with me the first night. She said we needed to talk. We must go, Susan. You are not safe here. But... Please, you must follow me. Quickly. Oh, shit. Okay. Um... Not sure if I should keep... Oh, shit. I'm in the thought bubble. Okay. Um... I'm gonna keep doing it. And then I got I went after her. The ward seemed very quiet. It must have been late at night. Harry! 
Wait for me. Tell me what's going on here. Yeah, what the fuck? The security guys were gone. She pointed at the corridor and said, You go first. I'll explain everything in a minute. Susan, if we don't escape now, they're going to hurt you. Please trust me. I know a way out of here. I'll help you escape. Let's go down this corridor. I'll be right behind you. Okay. Oh, this one? No. I think I can hear someone coming. Damn it! We can't go through there. Let's turn back, Susan. I know another way. Where the fuck are we going? What's going on? Turn left here. We can use the maintenance lift to get us out of this place. Okay. What are we doing on the roof? Yeah, why are we on the roof Liz. trying to escape? What the hell are you doing? What the fuck? And why is there blood on your clothes? Liz. It's quicker than the stairs. And besides, all the doors are locked anyway. What? This is the only way out of here. The only escape. Let's both jump. It won't hurt, you'll see. You've lost your mind. Get down here right now. This is a bad idea. Come down and we'll talk. This is a bad idea. Come down and we'll talk. I've made up my mind. I need to end this suffering now. Besides, I have no one to live for anyway. No one ever listened to me. No one ever cared. I listened. You're a nice girl. You have your whole life ahead of you. Oh, you nice. listened. Did you really? Of course I did. You talk a lot, but I've always been a good listener. I liked talking to you. So do you remember that story then? The one I told you the other night? The one about the woman in A and E? Uh, she disappeared and was later found dead on the toilet. She was the one who kicked security guy in the crotch. Yes, she smoked the cigarette and burned the bed. She jumped off a roof and broke her spine. Actually, I don't think you told me that story. Um, that's the girl that smoked and blew up everything, right? Yeah. She smoked a cigarette and burned in bed. Okay. You have listened. Maybe you're right. Or maybe it was just a blind guess. But I must jump anyway. I have no choice. Wait! Please stop and think for a second. Did you not hear what I said? I have no choice. Yes, you do. You can choose to come back inside with me, and we'll just forget this like it never happened, okay? Do you remember that other thing I told you? I'm sure I told you about my flatmates. Did I tell you what one of them does for a living? I bet you don't remember that. She's a waitress, she's a stripper, she's a burglar, she's a stewardess. You told me one of them worked late and you never saw her and she dressed risque and you didn't know what she was so I'm gonna say stripper she's a stripper yes or at least that's what I think she is you've listened I just wish other people did I'm sure they do it can't be that bad what do you know why do you care anyway I don't want you to make the same mistake I did I thought you of all people knew how it feels when you're trapped, and you can't trust anyone? Look, I'm sure there must be someone who cares about you. My colleagues don't care, my family don't care, even my fucking boyfriend never cared. 
He said he needed to go find himself. Did I tell you when he broke up with me? Yes, on Valentine's Day. Which is an asshole move for sure. On Valentine's Day? Yes. Valentine's Day. You and I could have been good friends, you know. You really listened to everything I said after all. Could have been. I... I'll be back. When you need help, I'll be there, Susan. But right now, it's time for me to let go. No! Oh, my God. After that, I went back. I tried telling people about Liz, but they all thought I was crazy again and didn't believe me. And you were absolutely sure you saw Liz jump off this building? You know, it doesn't matter. I just want to finish this and get some fresh air. Susan, I know Liz well. She wouldn't do something like that. As a matter of fact, I saw her this morning. She's fine. I'd like you to come with me and see her. Say hi. Make sure she's alright. Stop treating me like I'm crazy. Fine. I'll go. I don't even care that much anyway. It's Susan. I had a feeling in my gut, and my gut's never wrong. I feel like I really got to know you, though. I'm very sorry you've had such a difficult life. I like your green eyes and your sleek cheekbones. You're a clever girl, Susan, but the sadness has poisoned you for too long. There is no coming back from it. For what it's worth, I would have let you go if it wasn't for Liz. Oh my god, really? Damn. Alright guys, I think, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on right now, the fucking doctor just killed us, Liz killed herself, my recording stopped and I had to start it again real quick so sorry if there was a weird jump cut there, but oh my god, holy fucking damn, this game, I can't even. So I'm gonna leave it off here. But I will be back for sure in the next one. And if you guys like this video, be sure to give me a like. And if you happen to stumble across my channel, go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Oh my god.